Okay. So foam roller, um, I have a full size foam roller and mine is soft. Whatever you have, it will work. Um, and uh, lightweights. Okay. And I'm going to set up my foam roller on the map long ways. like this. Um, and then I'm also going to preset my light weights. So they are one, um, they're on either side of where my head will be, which is up here. Okay. So my little light weights are right there. And, um, just in case you can't read, from so far away. These are my favorite socks. They're, they say love is love and they're just the cutest. Could be a stocking stuffer from human rights campaign, just saying. Okay, let's get started. I'm gonna sit really close to the very, very, very edge of my um, foam roller. So my tailbone is literally right on the edge. And then I'm gonna lie down on my back. Um, and just a quick note, if any of this, um, while lying on the foam roller is is making all your parts not feel nice like this typically feels really great for me um the majority of this stuff can all just be done on the floor okay so just pop off your foam roller and push it to the side and resume doing all the movements right on your mat okay all right so i have i like to start with my feet wide so i have a lot of outward stability. Um, I'm going to give my core a little time to wake up. Okay, so wide feet, wide arms is a nice way to use your limbs to provide stability. I'm going to keep my arms down right down by my sides, palms down, adjust your arms and legs whenever you need to. And I'm going to start to move my head from side to side. And when I move my head, the weight of my head is coming off to, for me, the right, and I'm feeling a pretty deep stretch in actually both sides of my neck, and then I'll come back to the center, and I'll come over to the other side. So this is just a nice way to find some length through the side of the neck, into the shoulder, uh, maybe even into the jaw if you are tight there. And it's also a nice place to start to just take a deeper breath. Inhale, exhale. When I look to one side, I sort of lengthen out through the opposite arm just to create even more length through that whole shoulder neck region. Let's just do a couple more of these. If this is nice for you and your neck, you have my permission to do this whenever you like. I think this feels really good. And then after that one, you come back to the center. We'll keep the feet wide and bring the arms up towards the ceiling. I'm gonna let my palms face one another and we'll start to do some circles with the arms, bringing the arms back, coming all the way around towards the side body, towards the floor and then back up again. So this is a pretty full range of motion uh, movement for the arms and the shoulders. Um, the reason why I like this uh, is it also provides a nice little massage for the muscles around the scapula. Um, and the whole time you're just kind of keeping your spine just nice and long. Try not to hold your breath. Let's do one more circle in this direction. Eyes open, eyes closed, it's up to you. And then we'll go the opposite direction. Arms can come back, reach behind you, and then come back down by your sides and out again. And it is nice to find a breath pattern that connects with the movement. Maybe like a big inhale as you come around and exhale as you come back. Let's just do one more of these. and then come all the way down by your sides. Plant your elbows down by your sides and your palms down as well. And we're gonna let the legs do um, a bit of warming up too. So I'm moving my feet in just a bit and I'm gonna start to bring one leg up at a time. 
and almost immediately you may want to adjust your arms and that's fine scoot them out or scoot them in i think it's pretty intuitive your deep breathing is still happening try to breathe into your belly more than you're breathing into your shoulders and we're just going to do four more sets here i'm keeping my leg bent um, but if anything else feels nice to you, maybe you want to like stretch the whole leg up. That feels good too. That's a really big back of the leg stretch. If that's too much, just keep your, your knee bent when you bring it up. Let's do one more each way. And then come on back, feet down. I'm going to walk my feet out just a little bit more so they can take over to stabilize. And I'm going to reach to the sides, grab my little light weights, mine are twos. I'd say ones, twos, threes, fours, maybe even fives could be good. Um, this time, arms are going to come straight up towards the ceiling. We're going to limit our mo uh, movement just a little bit. Arms will come all the way down by your sides. You'll just tap the ground by your sides. But when you come back up and bring the arms behind you, only go, let's say, let's keep the arms in the periphery vision. And then come back up again and back down. And I'd say a nice deep breath, maybe inhale up and back. Exhale, return. Inhale up and back. Exhale, return. Three more. Two more. And last time. Yeah. And now we're going to come back up towards the ceiling. We'll let the palms face now forward. Um, so your palms are looking in the direction of your legs. And the elbows will bend east and west, and you'll come as far down as you would like. I'm gonna tap my elbows to the ground and return back up again, okay? Depending on how tight your chest and shoulders are, um, you may not get to the ground. So just uh, go as far as you can. And then again, intertwine that deep breath. I like inhale wide, exhale, come up. Okay, you can start to play around with how, where your feet are a little bit. Keeping them wide is gonna give you more stability. You may be rocking and rolling around just a little bit already, and that's good. Um, but if you want to challenge yourself a little bit more, bringing your feet more narrow is gonna kind of force you to stabilize, uh, start using those deeper core muscles. So you decide, let's do four more. And for me, this is, this is a good little, massage for those muscles in between the shoulder blades, which makes me uh, happy along the way. Feels good. One more. And now come on up and we're going to change this a little bit. Palms facing one another. Soften your elbows like you just made hug arms, like you're going to hug around a big ball or a tree. Keep that shape as you come out and come on back in. And again, nice deep breaths. This is a deeper stretch. Okay, so take your time if you would like. Let's focus on keeping the neck long and the jaw relaxed. I'm gonna do four more here. And three. And two. And last one. Okay, so now we're going to let the palms turn forward again so they're looking in the direction of the legs. I'm gonna bring my elbows out to the sides as far as I can. For me, that's down to the floor. And here's the biggest stretch yet. Um, cactus arms, goalpost arms, however you want to define this shape. And yeah, this is intense, just breathe. Three. 
three more exhales. where they are and then slowly come out of that position and bring the arms back down by your sides all right for this next part if you want to use the weights while you move it's up to you once we get moving you're welcome to pick them up and also not using them is, is a nice way to continue so you can decide here I'm going to bring my left arm up and my right arm down and my right leg to tabletop. So left arm up, right leg to tabletop, and then we'll switch, bring them down to the ground, left leg up, right arm up, and then come on back down and switch. Continue to play around with where your grounded arm is, okay? The closer the grounder, grounded arm is to your foam roller, the more you will be sort of rocking around trying to stabilize. Um, I'm just going to use my fingertips on the ground so I can straighten that grounded arm and keep breathing here. You can experiment with this leg too. Coming up to tabletop is great. Again, if you want to stretch straight up, if that feels like a, um, a nice way to lengthen out and activate the muscles in the leg, go for it. You're still breathing. Nice deep breaths. Lengthen out that neck. Let's do three more sets. And three. And two. And two. One. And one. Good. Now, um, just rest uh, the arms down completely. Just a quick stretch. I just want to show you that you can come into this position whenever you want. I know some of you struggle with tight hip flexors, and this is a crazy stretch here. Feet together, knees wide. And you can come into this stretch whenever you like, okay? We're going to be doing a bunch of belly slash flexor and leg and all, all this stuff. It's going to really turn the flexors on. Let's come back up with the knees, feet not too far from one another. Straighten your arms and put your fingertips down. Let's engage the abdominals and bring one leg up and then the opposite leg up. Pull your knees in a little bit so it feels like your knees are kind of over your belly button or getting close to that point, all right? Keep one leg up as you tap the opposite toes down and then come on back up and then switch. Alternate your legs one at a time. So this becomes a huge hip flexor situation. Oh geez, rolling off. Um, the more you bring your knees in over your belly button, the more you'll be continuing to use your abdominals, but you're giving your flexor just a little bit of a break. Keep going here. You're coming up each time. Last two, four more. And four. And three. And three. Two, two, one, and one. You can leave that leg down, bring the other one down. Feel free to do that feet together, knees wide, stretch whenever you want. Take a nice deep breath here. Widen your feet. Hands come right behind the, the midpoint of the skull. I'm interlacing my hands right behind my head. I'm going to pull my elbows up so I can see them in my periphery vision. Go ahead and take a good exhale so you can find those deeper core muscles. Pull the hip bones in towards one another and then curl up. Inhale down, exhale up. You can use your arms to lengthen your neck the whole time. It's almost like you're pulling gently your head away from your shoulders. Five more. And four. And three. And two. Last one. And come all the way down. 
Um, let's keep the right hand behind your head. Bring your left arm down to the mat on the floor, mat or floor. Wiggle your feet a little closer in towards one another. Left leg comes up. So opposite arm, opposite leg. We're back to this. This time we're keeping the right hand behind the head and curling up. Inhale down. Exhale up. So continue to support your head here. As you lower your head, you're welcome to straighten that leg up to about, let's say you're reaching through where the, where the ceiling and the wall meet one another. And exhale up. Let's do four more. And three. And two. And one more time. Come all the way down. Bring that right arm down. Take a nice deep breath. And we got to do the other side. Left hand behind the head. Right leg up. Ooh, one side could be different from the other. We'll see how this goes. Keep your right arm down. And then again, support the head. Lengthen the neck as you curl up. Inhale, come down. Exhale, come up. Four more. And three. And two. Woo! One more time. All the way down. I'm going to take that quick foot to foot knees wide stretch. Yeesh! Take a nice deep breath. You can gently rock right and left, by the way, and that sort of increases um, the feelings. And then come back to the center. Okay, one more um, variation here. Bring your arms in again so they're a little bit closer to your sides. I'm going to keep my elbows lifted. One leg will come back up to tabletop, and the other leg will join it. Okay, so depending on how tight your legs are, Oh geez, I almost rolled off. Um, the feet will stay together and the knees will come apart. Bringing your legs up towards the ceiling. If you are flexible, maybe they're straight. And if you are not, make that diamond. Bring your feet in, you guys, so you're closer to your belly button. And then lower and lift. Lower and lift. Six more. Six. Deep breath. Five. Four, three, two, last one, and come all the way down. Okay, inhale, exhale. Okay, here's the moment we've been waiting for. Roll to the side, roll off of your foam roller, but just lie flat for a minute and enjoy that bizarre, for me, wonderful, lengthened, strange spine feeling. Deep breath. And one more. Okay, good. So now um, we're going to take the foam roller. I'm going to come up to sit briefly and bring it towards the end of the mat, but this time long uh, like this. So you know, it's not going to be underneath us. And we're going to flip over. We did um, a bunch of stuff to warm up the front of the body. So let's work on the shoulders and the back a little bit. Um, I like to roll forward so the, um, the foam roller starts kind of underneath the wrist or the palm. And then you just get yourself lengthened through your spine and rest your head down on the ground. Now some of you have very tight shoulders and there's some, you know, mobility that you'd like to gain. This is a nice way to do it. Um, play around with keeping your elbows kind of soft along the way here and maybe even widening your palms, okay? It all just depends on what kind of mobility you have in your shoulders here. We're going to rest your head down. Um, Plug your shoulders in and just immediately make your neck a little bit longer. And now unplug, 
slide the shoulders forward, potentially straighten the arms and reach through the fingers. You can keep your forehead down through this whole part here. Plug your shoulders in. This is retraction of the scapula, I believe. And then protraction is sending the scapula forward. It almost feels like you're disconnecting them a little bit. Extend the arms. Keep doing that. Plug in. And then slide them forward. Lengthen your arms. And I want you to breathe. I kind of like exhale. Inhale when you plug your shoulders in, and then inhale when you slide them forward. Let's do two more here. One more. Okay. And I want you to plug your shoulders in and pause. Push down through your palms and the pinky finger a little bit. And you're going to start to now lift away from the floor. You'll naturally roll a little bit on the foam roller. And then come back to where you started. And again, push down gently through the palms and the karate chop side of the hand. Really try and keep your shoulders pulled in away from your ears when you roll up. And as you roll down, you can slide the shoulders forward again. Try that a few more times. And just to circle back to this whole shoulder mobility thing, if you really feel like keeping your hands up on the foam roller uh, is not serving you, just come to the ground and go through kind of like the stuff that we normally go through, lifting and lowering, using the ground instead. I'm going to do three more. If lifting um, also feels really nice, you want to add to this a little bit, you're welcome to lift the legs a little bit as well as you come up, if that feels intuitive. Let's do two more of whatever it is that you're doing. And then one more time. And then come all the way down. Pull the foam roller in towards you just a little bit, and then prop yourself up on your hands and knees with your feet together and your knees wide. And you can also use the foam roller to lengthen out. When you use the foam roller during child's pose, the arms stay higher than the head, which is also another very deep upper back, upper thoracic spine stretch. At least it is for me. Take one breath here. And now draw the abdominals in. Keep your arms on your foam roller. Bring your tush back towards your heels and roll to the fingertips. Roll all the way back out again. When you get as far as you can go, straighten your spine and try to come into a little bit of an arch. This is like a fun way to play with kind of a hat cow variation. So I, I feel like my, my back is a little arched here. I'm going to lower my head, draw the abdominals in, and now I'm coming into a rounded spine feeling. I'm just rolling all the way to my fingertips. I'm going to roll back out until I get as far as I can go. And then I'm going to kind of arch the upper back, lift the chest, lift the head, shoulders away from the ears. Let's do one more of these. Just breathe. Just breathe. And then roll back out again. And then rest all the way down. Let's come up to sit. Okay. That's a big mobility exercise for the thoracic spine. Let's push um, the foam roller forward. It's going to now be at the end of the mat. I'm just going to flip over and put my feet on that side now. Um, so when you lie down, the foam roller will now be underneath the arches of your feet. You can kind of pull it in um, a little bit so it doesn't roll away from you when you're trying to lie down. So those of you with tight hamstrings and tight legs, there is a chance you could hate this. Um, and if that is true, please don't push through it. Just bring your feet to the ground and proceed from there, okay? 
Bring the foam roller just close enough to you so you don't feel like you're too close or too far away. Right on the arch, push the heels and the arches into the foam roller, arms right by your sides. And we're gonna experiment with lifting the pelvis and the tush and then just putting it right back down. Um, there's always kind of like this sweet spot where there's just a place where it, it feels like torture and then there's another place where it doesn't feel like torture for me. So I kind of have to move my feet around a little bit until I feel that place. Um, for me, my feet are a little bit wider than my hips and I kind of just have to play around until I find that place. Let's do three more here. Continue to lengthen out your spine and use your arms by your sides. And two more. And one more time. And now put the hips down. We're gonna keep the hips down. Your legs are gonna roll along top of the foam roller until the legs are straight. I'm flexing my feet and then I'm pointing my feet. The foam roller is really like right around the calf, the bottom of my calf. Point and flex and point and flex the feet. Two more. Really use your toes. One more time. Good. Now point the feet, bend the knees, roll all the way back into where you just were. Press down through your arms. Lift the hips. We're doing the um, a bridge three times. Inhale down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up. Two more. One more. Lower the hips. Again, roll along the top of the foam roller. Um, flex the feet. Bring your toes in towards one another. When you do this, you're internally rotating the leg and the hip, and then externally rotate. Toes out, heels in. Toes in, heels out. You're also moving the ankles and the feet quite a bit here. One more each way. And then come back to where you started. Bend, point the feet, bend the knees, come all the way back in. Three bridges, take a nice deep breath, exhale, lift. Two more. And one more. Lower all the way down. Roll out again. And you're going to hold it out there. I'm going to move my feet a little bit closer to one another. Keep the right leg down. Hands behind your left thigh. This is just a big old stretch. Extend the left leg up and then bend and return. I just have my hands interlaced behind my left thigh. Extend up and bend. Nice, long, easy neck here. Three more. Extend and bend. Two more. One more. Good. Now extend the leg as best you can, point and flex the foot three times. Point and flex, and point and flex. And then see if you can slide your hands up a little higher. Woo! And enjoy a super deep stretch. Two exhales. One more, long neck here. And then release that leg, extend it out onto the foam roller. And let's bring the hands behind the, uh, the left leg or the opposite leg, and again, big stretch up to the ceiling. Three more here. Three, and two, and one more. And now extend and hold, point and flex. Point and flex, point and flex. Slide your hands up, ooh, huge stretch, deep breath. One more. Okay, carefully bring that leg all the way down. 
Let's keep the arms right by your sides. The foam roller will stay right underneath my um, ankles. I'm gonna bring my right leg up to the ceiling, single leg circle, circle in around and up. Four more. Three, use your arms. Two. One more. Let's go the other way. Out across the body. Pretend like you want to aim your left toes towards your right shoulder. So it's sort of that angle. Not like you're going to reach your toes to your shoulder. This is not Cirque du Soleil. One more. And come on up. All the way down, side two. Right leg up to the ceiling and big circles in around up. In around up. Three more. Two more. One more time. And we're reversing. Out to the right in the angle of your left shoulder. And four more. Three, two, one more, all the way down. Come back to the bottom of your calves with your foam roller. Bend your knees, come back to that bridge position. Feet kind of wide, press your arms down, three more, two more. One more time. All the way back down. Um, okay, let's bring the feet to the floor just for a moment. And roll to the side. Come on up to sit. I'm now going to take this foam roller and come back. Um, it's going to come behind my shoulders again. Actually, this is the first time it's under the shoulders. Um, I'm going to bring the foam roller right to sort of the line of the bottom, I would say, of my shoulder blade, somewhere around there. And then, yeah, immediately hands behind the head is where I would like uh, them to be, just to support the head. Curl forward, bring your elbows in. This is already work for the abdominals, okay? So you're going to guide your own head towards the floor. Inhale back, exhale up. Inhale back, exhale up. So for me, I like to scoot back a little bit as I'm doing this. This is like a two for one deal here. Actually, I guess three for one. We're stretching the neck, we're lengthening through the spine, we're working the abdominals, and we're also working the mobility um, of the spine. I like to continue to scooch either forward or back so the foam roller ends up being in slightly different places as I move through this movement. Um, and it just, um, it provides a really, really nice stretch along the way. I'm gonna do one more. And then I'm gonna stay here where we started, curled forward, elbows forward, Bring your chin in towards your throat just a little bit. Lengthen out through the back of the neck. Energize your waist here. Don't sink towards the floor. Try to keep yourself nice and engaged there along the way. One leg is going to come up when you do. It's almost like you want to bring your forehead in towards the knee. And then replace that other side. Keep breathing. One more each way. Other side. Feet down. Support the head. Come back again towards the floor. When you put your head down, well, actually, yeah, two things. Um, if you can get your head down on the ground, great. And if that doesn't feel crazy, leave it there. Extend the arms somewhere. Out to the sides. Back behind you. A huge stretch, take a nice deep breath, and then replace the hands behind your head, cradle the head, 
to come back to start. Okay, we're gonna stay here again, curl forward, one leg up, pull your chin in a little bit, lengthen the back of the neck, other leg up, hold here, curl forward a little bit more, put one leg down and the other leg down. Give yourself one more stretch backwards. Super deep exhale, release the arms if you want, and then come on back up. Woo! Okay, roll to the side. Um, for this next bit, keep your foam roller close by, and then grab those little weights again. If you're feeling left out. Okay, so I've got my two little weights. I'm coming up to my side. I'm going to use both my weights just to make it four pounds for some rotator work here. Um, this is the first place where you could use your foam roller, by the way. Uh, it's totally up to you. This is nice for some people. They really like that, okay? So you can try it out. I'm going to keep my head on my um, arm. Elbow close to your side body. Straighten out that spine. Belly button is in, and we'll come up for ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, and one more. And then come down. Now I'm just going to drop off one of my weights and I'm taking the other one. I'm giving my leg a bit of a gift. So this little weight is going to stay right there. I'm just going to bring my hand somewhere, right, probably right in front of my ribs down with the leg and up with the knee. Down and up, nice deep breaths here. Down and up, okay? So you can leave the weight out, that's fine. There's no reason why you have to include it. Um, and also if this particular exercise or any of them that we've done doesn't suit you, you're welcome to pause for that particular exercise and do something else, whether it be a stretch, Take a few deep breaths. You can always uh, weave in something else if you would like. Let's do five more here. And four. And three. And two. And one more time. And up. Lower the down. Lower the down. Lower the leg down. Okay, I'm going to do another rotator set here. And ten more. 10, 9. P.S. As you move through this, your waist is kind of active here. So what I mean by that is I'm not just like sinking towards the ground. I'm trying to kind of lift away from the ground. I could probably tuck my fingers underneath my bottom ribs. Three more. And two. And one more time. Good. And then down. Give yourself the gift again and then come on back. So um, same thing here, lift away from the floor a little bit. We're gonna make a circle with this knee, which is kind of awkward with the weight, but it's okay, it's working. Three more this way, three, two, and one, and let's go the other way. And six, five, four, three, two, and one more. And then come all the way down. Okay, grab the weights. Last little rotator set here. Ten more. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. the gift one more time. Okay, so for this one, we're not moving up and down. We're going to start with the knee right out in front of the hip so it's already lifted. This whole shape will come forward and back. And forward and back. I'm really trying to
to just stay right on my side body here. Four more. Four. And three. And two. One more. Bring the leg back. Hold here. Little pulse up and down here. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ooh, grab that weight. Put um, put put it down. Okay, keep that there. Let's do a little inner thigh work. I like to use the foam roller for this, but you don't have to. If you bring your foam roller in front of you, you can rest your top knee on it. And then you can uh, lift and move that bottom leg around a little bit. Okay, so keep the foam roller kind of nice and still as you move. Knee is resting on the foam roller. Lift the bottom leg up, straighten the bottom leg. Let's point the bottom foot and then flex the bottom foot. Really straighten the leg up. Point and flex and point and flex and point and flex. Now let's point and hold, little pulse up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now hold and flex the foot, little pulse up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now a super fun combo. Point up, flex up. Point up, flex up. Point up, flex up. Four, four, Three, three, two, two, one, and one. All the way down. Keep your foam roller where it is and then bring both legs out. Um, get yourself situated on your side so you're really right on your side. I'm just going to keep my hand right on the foam roller and then both legs up and down. And down. Three more here. Lengthen out, find your two-way stretch here. Legs out, crown of the head, other way. One more, let's lift and hold this time. And little beats. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All the way down. All right, let's take a stretch here. You can just let your foam roller stay. Bend your knees. Big twisty stretch. I'm going to cactus or goal post my arms here. Let's roll back to our sides, and we got to do the other side. So I'm going to bring my foam roller with me and my weights, and we're going to lie on side two. Knees bent again. Um, feel free to use, for this part, the foam roller underneath your head again, and then grab your weights. Straighten out your spine the best you can, and we'll do ten arm lifts here. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, woo, one more. That side feels different. Okay, let's take that one weight if you would like, add it to the top knee. Top hand, maybe somewhere around rib area, and down and up. I'm trying to keep the pelvis pretty still. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one more. All the way down. Okay, that was 
so that let's do another rotator set here. Straighten that spine out. Ten. Nine. So we're still keeping this shape, hugging the, the weight, and moving the knee all the way around the room. And four more here. Four. Deep breath. And three. Two. One. And we got to go the other way. Around. Two. Four more. Three, four, five, and six. Come all the way around. Remove that weight. Last rotator set here. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. And last one. Okay, last little part here with the weight. Push your bottom leg down a little bit. The knee starts hip height. And then this whole shape comes forward and back. Each time I, I bring the leg back, I'm trying to find like a bunch of length here. It almost feels like a stretch through the flexor and the quad. And six. And five, I'm trying to keep that knee hip height when it comes around front, especially four. And three, two, one more time. And we're gonna bring it back and hold knee up and down. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oop, my goodness, I was burning. Okay, let's put the weights to the side. I'm gonna use the foam roller to rest the top leg on as I straighten out my bottom leg. Get yourself situated so your hips are still one on top of the other here. And then you can lift your bottom leg and let's point and flex. When you flex, really straighten out the leg and lengthen yourself into one long straight-ish line. Four more, point and flex. Three more, point and flex. Two more, and flex one more time. And flex, now let's point the foot, little pulse up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, and now lift and hold, flex again. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, a little bit of both. Point up, flex up, point up, flex up, point up, flex up. Three more. Three, three, two, two, one, and one. Okay, both legs nice and straight. I'm going to use this foam roller right in front of me. Um, plug your top shoulder in and then lengthen both legs. Lengthen your whole self. Find your two-way stretch through the feet, through the crown of the head. How's that deep breath here? Three more. Two more. One more, we're gonna hold. And little beats between the heels. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, straight legs. Five, four, three, two, one. Ooh, all the way down. Okay, here's that big stretch. Arm forward, knees forward. Kind of gulp 
post again. Okay, roll back, roll back. And we're gonna briefly come to our hands and knees. Come to the hands and knees. Um, hands under shoulders, let's do knees and feet together. Curl your toes forward and then just sit back. Pull your heels in towards one another. You can either stay right here, it's all just depending on how tight your feet are, or you can do this, which in my opinion is pretty awful, <laughs> but probably totally necessary. If you decided to come up here, relax your shoulders, take a nice deep breath. Let's hold for another 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, that's enough of that. Let's uncurl the toes. Okay, a modified push-up. I'm gonna keep my knees down. You are welcome also to come to the wall or to do a, a plank if that suits you today. We're gonna start with the hands under the shoulders. And we'll do eight. Belly is in, neck is long. Eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Walk your hands back and your knees in. Cat cow. Around the spine. Arch the back. One more each way. And arch. Okay, another side of your wide elbow push-ups. Make a change, you can do it a different way if you'd like. I'm gonna keep mine in this knees down modified position. And 10, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Whew. Sit up for just a moment. Both arms up to the ceiling. Hook your thumbs. Fingertips up. Head relax. A little side to side here. And then come all the way down. Relax here for a second. We've got one more push-up set. And yes, you said it. Triceps. I'm going to do mine a little differently. Um, than the modified version. I'm gonna keep my knees under my hips. When I lower my elbows, I'm gonna to aim to get my chin over my thumbs. Three, four, child's pose before we come on up to stand. Okay, let's come on up. Bring yourself up carefully, however you like. Perfect. Um, I'm just going to get this out of the way so I don't trip on it. Actually, you know what? Let's use this. I, I forgot. I want to choose. Bring your foam roller over to a wall if you can get to one without too much trouble. And 
This is where I moved the jungle, so you can see what I'm doing. I'm standing not too far from the wall. I'm going to bring my left foot, the ball of the foot, right up to the foam roller. However close you are to the wall is going to change the intensity of this foot slash calf stretch. Shift your weight in towards your big toe and then shift out towards the pinky. Big toe, pinky, big toe, pinky. Come back to the center, relax your shoulders. Lean forward another quarter of an inch. Take a nice deep breath. Shift back into your standing leg. For me, it's my right leg. And that same foot that I just stre stretched the calf, I'm going to bring it back and stretch out the quad a little bit. Um, you can keep your hand on your wall or extend it up towards the ceiling. And then I'm going to bring that leg down and I'll come over to the other side. Now, right foot against the foam roller, the ball of the foot is there. The closer you are to the wall with both your left foot and your arms and your chest, the more intense this will be. Shift your weight a little bit so you're leaning in towards the big toe and then the pinky. And the big toe and the pinky. One more each way. Don't hold your breath. And then come back more central. Shift your weight forward another quarter of an inch if you can. Relax your shoulders. Stand tall, big breath. And then bring this leg behind you. Hang on to whatever you can get to. If this is too um, intense of a stretch, you can always use your magic circle or even like your circle stretchy band to facilitate a quad stretch. Okay, release that. One more stretch for the road. Arms up, hook your thumbs. Stretch up, drop your chin a little bit, and side to side. And reach. Both arms up. You can unhook. Big breath. As you bring your arms down, exhale. Neck long, shoulders down. I hope you have a lovely day. May the force be with you.